Santorini, one of Greece's most iconic tourist destinations, is facing a critical challenge due to increased volcanic activity. As a part of the highly active Hellenic volcanic arc, the island's seismic and geothermal movements pose significant risks to residents, businesses, and the tourism industry. Managing this crisis requires a structured and strategic approach, ensuring rapid response, risk mitigation, and long-term recovery. From a project management perspective, handling this volcanic crisis is not merely an emergency response, it is a complex, multi-phase project involving risk assessment, stakeholder coordination, resource allocation, and strategic decision-making. Effective crisis management demands agile planning, clear communication, and efficient execution, ensuring the safety of people while minimizing economic and environmental impact. This video presents a project management framework to address the crisis, leveraging principles from Rapid Response Project Management RRPM. The approach will outline key phases, including early warning detection, containment, impact assessment, response execution, recovery strategies, and long-term resilience planning. By applying structured project management methodologies, Santorini can navigate this natural disaster with precision, preparedness, and sustainability, ensuring that the island remains both protected and prosperous in the future. Why a project management approach? A volcanic disaster is not just a natural event, it is a multi-dimensional crisis requiring structured, strategic execution. By applying project management principles, Centurini's response can be proactive rather than reactive, ensuring a coordinated, efficient, and sustainable recovery. Project Definition and Objectives Project Name Santorini Volcanic Crisis Management SVCM, Objective This project aims to prevent loss of life, minimize economic damage, and ensure long-term resilience against volcanic activity through structured project management methodologies. The objectives can be categorized into five key areas. 1. Safety and risk mitigation implement real-time volcanic monitoring systems using satellite, seismographic, and ground-based data. Develop evacuation plans based on potential risk zones. Establish emergency shelters and relief centers with medical aid, food, and communication infrastructure. Coordinate with airlines and ferry operators to facilitate quick evacuation when necessary. Provide psychological support and counseling for residents affected by the crisis. 2. Economic and business continuity minimize disruption to Centurini's tourism industry, the backbone of its economy. Implement a phased tourism evacuation strategy to protect visitors while maintaining controlled access to lower-risk areas. Work with insurance and financial institutions to provide relief for businesses and residents. Develop a post-crisis tourism recovery strategy, including incentives for visitors to return once the situation stabilizes. 3. Infrastructure protection and restoration assess key infrastructure vulnerabilities, including roads, ports, airports, and power grids. Reinforce critical facilities, such as hospitals, emergency response centers, and transportation hubs. Secure water and food supply chains in case of prolonged disruption. Ensure redundancy in telecommunications to maintain communication during emergencies. 4. Environmental and geological resilience minimize long-term environmental damage caused by ash fallout, lava flow, and seismic activity. Establish air quality monitoring systems to mitigate respiratory hazards from volcanic ash. Develop post-eruption land rehabilitation plans, such as soil recovery and reforestation. 5. Stakeholder communication and global coordination provide timely, transparent updates through official government channels, media, and social platforms. Implement a multilingual crisis communication strategy for tourists and international partners. Engage with scientific institutions and global disaster response agencies to leverage expertise and resources. Success criteria and key performance indicators KPIs, to measure the effectiveness of this project, key metrics will include zero fatalities and minimized injuries due to well-executed evacuation plans, efficient evacuation times, with reduced congestion at airports and ports, minimal disruption to local businesses, ensuring that at least 50-70% of businesses can resume operations within a short period after stabilization, clear and accurate public information, measured by a high rate of engagement and compliance with emergency instructions. 
Infrastructure resilience, with power, water, and medical services operational even during peak crisis moments. Rapid post-disaster economic recovery, restoring at least 80% of tourism levels within a year. Project phases and approach phase 1. Alarm phase, detection and early warning. Objective. Identify early warning signs, assess risks, and notify relevant authorities. Key actions. Deploy seismographic and satellite monitoring systems to detect early signs of volcanic activity. Establish risk zones using historical data and current geological assessments. Issue early alerts to government agencies, emergency services, and tourism authorities. Develop automated warning systems, SMS alerts, sirens, radio announcements, social media notifications. Begin public awareness campaigns to inform residents and tourists about potential risks. Stakeholders involved. Related Country Civil Protection Agency Related Country Seismological Institute Related City Municipalities Local and International Geological Experts Deliverables Risk Assessment Report Categorizing Potential Impact Areas Early Warning Communication Plan for Rapid Dissemination of Alerts Preliminary Evacuation Blueprint for Different Risk Zones Phase 2. Containment Phase, Immediate Response and Crisis Control Objective prevent loss of life and ensure public safety through proactive containment measures. Key actions. Establish restricted zones in high-risk areas, lava flow paths, ash fallout zones. Activate evacuation protocols for at-risk populations. Mobilize emergency medical teams, firefighters, and law enforcement. Set up temporary shelters equipped with medical aid, food, and communication services. Coordinate with airlines and ferry operators for mass evacuation if needed. Deploy ash-resistant air filtration systems in key locations. Establish aerial surveillance and ground patrols to monitor the situation in real time. Stakeholders involved. Related country government and emergency services related country local hospitals and healthcare providers related country airlines, ferry operators, and tourism agencies United Nations disaster relief. If international aid is required deliverables, evacuation execution plan with transportation logistics. Real-time risk zone mapping updated as volcanic activity progresses. Emergency response coordination framework for first responders. Phase 3. Assessment phase, damage evaluation and impact analysis. Objective. Determine the extent of damage and prioritize response efforts. Key actions. Conduct aerial and on-ground surveys to assess infrastructure damage. Monitor air quality and health hazards from volcanic ash exposure. Assess economic damage to businesses, tourism, and agriculture. Identify critical supply chain disruptions, food, medical aid, utilities. Collect public feedback on immediate needs and concerns. Stakeholders involved. Engineers, geologists, and infrastructure experts Economic and Tourism Boards Local Business Associations Environmental Protection Agencies Deliverables Post-Disaster Impact Report Categorizing Infrastructure, Economic, and Environmental Damage Short-Term Restoration Plan for Utilities and Essential Services Public Health Advisory on Volcanic Ash Effects and Safety Precautions Phase 4 Attack Plan, Strategic Decision-Making, Objective Develop a clear roadmap for handling the ongoing crisis and post-eruption recovery. Key Actions Establish a tiered recovery plan, prioritizing high-impact areas. Allocate emergency funds for business and community relief. Develop a crisis tourism strategy, including redirection of tourists to safer areas. Launch government compensation programs for affected residents. Implement law enforcement measures to prevent looting and chaos. Seek international aid and partnerships if necessary. Stakeholders involved. National and local government policymakers, financial and insurance institutions, business and tourism sector leaders, international relief organizations, deliverables. Emergency recovery strategy, SIRS, report. Budget allocation and economic relief plan for businesses and individuals. Tourism redirection and alternative income strategy. Phase 5. Engagement Phase, Execution and Crisis Response Objective. Implement planned actions, ensuring smooth execution of relief and recovery efforts. Key Actions. Execute recovery programs, infrastructure repairs, 
business grants, and tourism incentives. Maintain open communication channels with the public, ensuring transparency. Deploy mental health support services for affected residents. Provide temporary employment opportunities for those impacted by the disaster. Monitor ongoing volcanic activity and adjust strategies accordingly. Stakeholders involved. Local and national recovery teams, psychologists and public health professionals, financial aid organizations, media and PR teams for public updates deliverables. Restoration progress report with key milestones. Public satisfaction survey to gauge response effectiveness. Updated risk assessment for future preparedness. Phase 6. Extinguishment phase, crisis containment and stability. Objective. Fully contain the crisis and transition from emergency response to long-term stability. Key actions. Conduct final damage inspections and infrastructure verification. Close temporary shelters and relocate affected individuals to stable housing. Provide final financial aid packages for those severely impacted. Begin marketing campaigns to rebuild Centurini's tourism sector. Establish long-term geological monitoring programs for future safety. Stakeholders involved. Government and environmental agencies, local businesses and tourism boards, international geological and disaster response organizations, deliverables. Final crisis report summarizing lessons learned in response effectiveness. Long-term economic recovery plan for businesses and tourism. Updated emergency preparedness guidelines for future volcanic activity. Phase 7. Overhaul phase, long-term recovery and lessons learned. Objective. Strengthen resilience for future volcanic activity and assess response effectiveness. Key actions. Review what worked well and what failed in crisis management. Update Centurini's disaster preparedness policies with revised protocols. Conduct training exercises for emergency responders based on new insights. Strengthen volcanic monitoring infrastructure for earlier detection. Implement a permanent disaster recovery fund for future incidents. Stakeholders involved. Crisis management experts, government policymakers, research institutions and universities, emergency response teams, deliverables, after action review report, R, with key takeaways. New volcanic risk mitigation policies for Santorini. Public education campaigns on emergency preparedness. Key project management areas, constraints and challenges, time sensitivity. Unpredictability of volcanic activity requires quick decisions. Budget constraints. Funding relief efforts while balancing economic losses. Public panic and misinformation. Managing fear and ensuring factual communication. Logistics issues. Evacuating a high tourist island efficiently. Environmental impact. Long-term ecological effects on Centurini's landscape. Conclusion. Project management lessons proactive risk management is key. Early warning systems and preparedness plans reduce disaster impact. Stakeholder communication is crucial. Effective coordination with authorities, businesses, and residents ensures smooth crisis handling. Adaptability and agility are necessary. Plans should evolve based on real-time data. Economic and infrastructure resilience should be built in. Future-proofing the island against natural disasters must be a long-term goal. Finalizing the Santorini Volcanic Crisis Management Project, the closure phase marks the official conclusion of the Santorini Volcanic Crisis Management Project, SVCM. At this stage, all emergency response efforts have been successfully executed, infrastructure has been restored, and long-term strategies are in place to ensure the island's resilience against future volcanic activity. This phase includes evaluating project effectiveness, documenting lessons learned, and ensuring long-term sustainability. Evaluating project success The success of the project is measured against key performance indicators, KP is, established in the planning phases. These include zero or minimal loss of life, ensuring the evacuation plan effectively protected residents and tourists. Infrastructure restoration, roads, ports, airports, and utilities are back to full functionality. Economic recovery, businesses in the tourism sector show strong signs of revival. Environmental impact management, volcanic ash has been cleared, and affected ecosystems are under rehabilitation. Public and stakeholder satisfaction, a high level of confidence in crisis management efforts. Each department involved, 
government agencies, emergency responders, tourism boards, etc., will submit final reports to ensure all critical project objectives have been achieved. Final documentation and reporting to ensure transparency and serve as a reference for future crises, detailed project documentation is compiled. The final report includes Final Crisis Response Report, a comprehensive analysis of response efforts, challenges faced, and successes. After Action Review, AAR, a structured review identifying strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement. Financial Report, breakdown of funds used for evacuation, infrastructure repair, business relief, and emergency services. Stakeholder Feedback Analysis, surveys and interviews from residents, tourists, business owners, and government agencies. These documents will be archived for reference in future disaster preparedness planning. Lessons learned and future recommendations A lessons learned workshop is conducted with all key stakeholders to discuss. Green circle what went well. Early warning systems successfully detected volcanic activity. Evacuation was executed efficiently, preventing casualties. Infrastructure restoration was completed within a reasonable time frame. Public communication strategies were effective in reducing panic and misinformation. Red circle what could be improved. Some evacuation routes faced bottlenecks due to high traffic. More resources were needed for medical aid in temporary shelters. Financial relief distribution for affected businesses could have been faster. More robust volcanic monitoring infrastructure should be installed for even earlier detection. These insights will be integrated into future disaster management policies. Transition to long-term recovery and sustainability Although the crisis response project officially ends, long-term recovery and resilience building efforts continue. The project team transitions responsibilities to local government and emergency services, continue monitoring geological activity and refine emergency plans. Tourism and business authorities, implement post-crisis tourism strategies and financial recovery plans. Infrastructure and environmental departments, oversee ongoing reconstruction efforts and environmental restoration. Academic and research institutions, use data collected to improve volcanic hazard modeling and prediction. The final handover process ensures that long-term sustainability measures remain in place, preventing future disruptions. Official project closure and public communication The final step is officially closing the project, ensuring that all deliverables have been met and all stakeholders are aligned. This includes public announcement and press conference. Government officials provide a final update on the crisis response, outlining achievements and future resilience measures. Official closure statement issued by the Santorini Municipality, confirming the project's completion and thanking all involved. Media campaign, showcasing recovery progress, reopening of businesses, and renewed tourism efforts. A symbolic closure event, such as a reopening ceremony or cultural festival, could be planned to reignite public confidence and tourism interest in Santorini. Conclusion the power of project management in crisis resolution The Santorini Volcanic Crisis Management Project, SVCM, demonstrates the effectiveness of structured project management in handling natural disasters. By using Rapid Response Project Management, RRPM, the island was able to react swiftly to the crisis with early detection and rapid decision-making. Coordinate effectively among multiple stakeholders, including government agencies, businesses, and residents. Minimize loss and disruption through proactive evacuation, infrastructure protection, and economic relief. Ensure long-term resilience by learning from the crisis and integrating new disaster preparedness measures. As Santorini moves forward, continuous monitoring, policy improvements, and sustainable development will be key to protecting the island from future volcanic events. By treating this natural disaster as a project with clear objectives, structured phases, and strategic execution, Santorini has not only survived but emerged stronger and more resilient.